Hola, hola, everyone, and welcome to the day four. I don't know how quickly this time is just passing. It's literally one more day, one more day, <laughs> girls. Please let me know in comment section below uh, how is it so far, uh, what did you learn, and what was your aha moment. Uh, and today we are going straight to the point because i know many of you have been waiting for this video so let's just dive in and straight to the point okay first of all i have to tell you something important okay sugar and carbs trigger the blood sugar hormone and in order to combat insulin resistance and we talk about it in the uh, previous day day three uh, we need to eliminate the sugar for a while it's not gonna be forever don't you worry we are just gonna going to make a sugar break uh, some of you never did it in the your entire life <laughs> and it means it's very very uh, necessary break uh, your uh, pancreas will have a break your body will have a break and you're gonna experience so many amazing uh, things as a result so the question you might have when to do it don't just do it right now girl don't please don't you have to mark it in your calendar and you have to do it only in ovulatory phase okay we will start the ketosis in your ovulatory phase why it's mean the time when you uh, finish your period and you start ovulating. And why is that? Because if you're going to start it close to your period or on the days where you're supposed to have a period, your body will not release the fat. It's, it's just fact. This is how it is in our bodies. So every single uh, thing, every single detox, every single uh, diet, and you know, I don't recommend any diet, but I'm full into biohacks and I'm using this ketosis purely as a biohack. Everything that you're doing uh, close to your period is going to have a damaging effect to your hormones because your body going to think that uh, your body needs to store all the energy just in case of eventual pregnancy. And when you restrict the amount of the calories or uh, when you don't uh, give uh, your body enough uh, nutrients or enough uh, good things, your body will literally store the fats uh, just to accumulate the energy, just in case that you're pregnant, okay? So please, 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 this is very important. You're going to do it only in your ovulatory phase, okay? This is very, very important. I have to say that like three times. <laughs> so what you have to do in order to de-bloat, uh, fix your insulin resistance and get rid of your endobelly you have to uh, top up with more green vegetables, okay? This is very, very important. We have to build the foundation first. So you're gonna top up with green vegetables, you're gonna top up with green smoothies, and you're gonna add good oils and protein, okay? But with protein, be very careful because uh, there's the ways which you cannot uh, mix the proteins, and I'm gonna talk about it uh, just a second. So this is what you are going to do. More vegetables, more green smoothies, and more good oils. We're not gonna um, uh, restrict the oils because the oils are good and some fat is also good. Like for example, avocado fat, like for example, olive oil. If you don't know uh, which, uh, which is the good oils, please let me know. I'm gonna drop my email. Uh, and uh, if you just write to me, I'm gonna send you the free uh, checklist with the best oils, okay? So what you gonna remove? You are going to remove all sugars, all sugars, including the natural sugars, yes. So the honey and all the sugar that is in the fruits. Okay, don't panic. It's actually a uh, very easy to do, and it's you. You will be surprised how easy it actually is. Okay, so you have to avoid all sugar, the obvious sugar, but also hidden sugar. And where you can find the hidden sugar? For example, in the sauces. 
tomato sauce is full of sugar. If you check the ingredients, you will see. And if you don't know the names of sugar, the girls who uh, purchase my online course know exactly every single name of the sugar. But if you don't know, drop me also email. I'm going to send you free checklist so you can uh, check the labels and see is this specific thing uh, the name of the sugar because the sugar company uh, very love to hide the sugar between very strange names. Okay. So hidden sugar is also in the rice, uh, also in all kinds of wraps. Like my husband loves all this, uh, you know, pita bread wraps, like all Middle Eastern who are eating more bread than normal food. <laughs> you have to avoid MSG. What is MSG? Is a monosodium glutamate in the fast food and Asian food, also known as modified food starch. For example, modified food starch you can find in cheese. Uh, it's actually addict, uh, you know, addictive. They're adding this, and it's also uh, contain the sugar. So this one is out. And now, do you remember when I told you about the protein? The protein is good, but the sugar plus protein is actually the bomb. It spikes your insulin more than a double. And where you can find sugar uh, with meat? Like, for example, you've got the steak and you put the ketchup on it. Ketchup is full of sugar. So you've got sugar and protein. Uh, you've got the protein shake as well, uh, full of sugar. And that spikes your insulin to the rooftop. So be very mindful, okay? All the low-fat food, they have also sugar added. Protein never comes with low-fat in nature. Like, for example, low fat protein shakes that never works in nature. So everything low fat, you know, avoid. We are not fat is not our enemy. We are going to use the good fat to actually biohack our excess weight. OK, so eat when you are hungry uh, and this one works with all girls except the girls who are um, having uh, eating disorders. I know because I used to have one. And if you tell me eat when you are hungry, well, I was never hungry. <laughs> so it's just only works for girls who have no eating disorder. Okay. Gradually go from five to uh, two meals a day because every single time when you eat, you start producing insulin, okay? And uh, we are going to uh, biohack our body, not only with ketosis, but also with intermittent fasting. So the breaks between the meals is, is you know, very, very good and very, very essential. So uh, try to eat as much as you want uh, and the meals to be like two meals a day or three meals a day, but not many. Don't snack like in between, okay? And you might think, Yola, which food to eat? Which food to avoid? This is very simple. Google literally those two things. And I'm pointing in wrong direction. You see, I'm pointing in wrong directions. Literally Google those two, two things. Blood sugar hormone index or insulin index. It will show you exactly every single food and how much, um, how much the insulin index is has. It means how much is spiking your insulin, okay? So you have to just navigate through the food that have the lowest insulin index. This is basically all of this. There is no special food required. Just literally Google those two things and try to avoid the one which have the highest blood sugar hormone index or insulin index. This is literally as simple as, okay? Tomorrow, Tomorrow is very special video. I'm going to tell you what will happen to your body. The things, what you can uh, expect, you know, because the, some things will happen and I want you to uh, know that so you're not surprised. Uh, how to prepare, how to start, how quickly you will see the results. This is very important. And how often can you repeat it? Because uh, some men are using ketosis all the time, but we are not men. Uh, we have two, uh, two rhythms, circadian and infradian. And if we are living in the keto all the time, like some men do, we're gonna wreck our hormones. 
and we don't want that. We're just going to use it as a biohack, okay? So from this video, what you have to know is that you are topping up with a lot of veg, a lot of veg, okay? A lot of green smoothies, uh, proteins, and good oil, good fats, okay? And we are removing all the sugar. All sugar have to go, which means natural sugar, the obvious sugar, and the hidden sugar. I'm going to see you tomorrow. I can wait.